you know, I don't, I don't need to say I need to take my step up to another level. Um, you know, me and my team work is really hard every day. Um, we only a week to count. So uh, our defense just, you know, doing everything it's supposed to do, you know, on assignment. You know, when the season comes, the season comes. And, um, but we're doing everything we're supposed to do. What do you expect from yourself this year? What I expect what kind of myself. Yeah, what kind of productivity are you going to provide? I expect the myself to be a, uh, you know, impact player. I'm not going to lie. But I will do my stuff assignment. I will stay humble with it. I'm not going to go out and do it. I will do my assignment the best way I can do it as possible to help my defense and help my team. Dominant type player? Do you feel that, are, are you evolving into that area of a dominant type player? Um, I won't put boost the ego like that. I would just say, I'm just trying to be a good player for my defense to help them uh, to do my assignment for my defense. What keeps you humble to say things like that where you do say you want to be an impact player, but you are staying very humble? What keeps you that way? Because it's a brotherhood here, and there's no, no egos, no nothing. You know, everybody have love for each other here. So it's just, you know, once you, once you come in that locker room, you see that love from everybody. It's just so overwhelming. So it's, it's no point to go out there and just boost the ego. You know, everybody going to do their job. So everybody going to do their job to the best of their abilities. And last year they had you moving inside and outside. So what, do you like being on the end better? Do you like being on the inside better? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I play D-line. I, I do what a D-line would do. In no position don't matter to me. I would do whatever it takes. Physically, what specifically? How did you try to improve yourself between last year and this year? I mean, I, I think most guys probably make their biggest jump from physically from f freshman to sophomore year. Just like what every other college football player would do: become faster, more agile, you know, become smarter in our defense, know my assignment more, you know, become more confident in myself. When you look back to last year, I mean, what, what do you know now? What comes easy now that maybe didn't a year ago as you're breaking into the college game? Um, being more confident in myself and knowing my place, knowing the place. I'll probably say that's my number one. You got the, the play part of it down now, the playbook the plays, part of it? The plays now, it's more, I'm more comfortable being able to get a play and be able to, to correctly do my assignment the best way I could do it and do it right. That's got to make a huge difference in terms of just your confidence when the ball is snapped and what you're going to be able to accomplish as opposed to last year when you... Like I said, it just, it, it, my confidence will rise because of that. But at the same time, it, I know that when I do my assignment and my other players do their assignment, I'm doing it basically as a family together. So, you know, that's what I've been working on. Not just doing what I have to do to help my defense become a better defense. Losing Lynch aside, I mean, when you've got two inexperienced corners who are going to be starting out there, do you guys feel more pressure you know, going into this season, especially early on, to you know, be really kind of wreaking havoc? Well, I can't answer that question. I don't know. <laughs> I was a defensive coordinator. I probably can't. I'm not. <laughs>